Hi guys and welcome back to another video. This is a video I've wanted to make for a very long time and it is an in-depth comparison between the B58-B30B and the B58-B30C. So what you see in front of you is obviously my screen on my computer but also what you see in front of you is a website called Real OEM that some of you may be familiar with. A lot of the information that is provided on my channel is actually sourced from this website. So what it is, is actually an illustrated parts catalog that breaks the engines down or the cars down into parts and gives you the part numbers for these parts. So specifically, I'll be using for comparison the M340i and the 540i. So the M340i is fitted with the B58B30B, which is also known as the B58B3001. And this is the engine that can make 382 horsepower. Whereas the 540i in this example is fitted with the B58B30C and this engine produces 335 horsepower. You also already know that this engine, the B58B30C, is found in the Toyota Supra up to uh, 2020, whereas from 2021 the Toyota Supra has the B58B30B and I'll be explaining exactly what the differences are in very great detail using the illustrated parts catalog. Uh, one thing to note is I chose the M340i for this uh, video because it has a special option called the S33TA, the Motorsport Engineering Package. I find this very interesting and I'm going to explain further what this package is. But as you can see, there are two versions of the engine with and without this motorsport engineering package. Spoiler alert, what the motorsport engineering package is, is actually it has a dedicated engine oil cooler, an air oil heat exchanger. So this is this black box here that you can see in both of the engines is a coolant to oil heat exchanger. When you have this motorsport engineering package, you don't have this coolant to oil heat exchanger anymore. You have a dedicated air to oil heat exchanger or radiator, but we'll get into that later. Let's go back and see what, what the illustrated parts catalog looks like. So we looked at the first one, which is short engine, and I'm going to skip very quickly to show you that. So uh, adverts, of course, the free websites is full of adverts. So basically what we're going to be doing is going to each section and comparing them very quickly and take my word for it when I say that a specific section, everything is identical. So for example, here, everything on the left is the same as everything on the right, which means the B58B30B has the same exact components as the B58B30C. Same as this one. Now we get to an interesting one. So these are the oil pans and they are identical between the B58B30B and the B58B30C but there are two versions of the oil pan with and without xDrive so let me show you how you select an engine how you select a car in real OEM so we'll go we'll go back in both screens we'll find the 3 series again the G23 series and previously we had selected the M340i now we'll select the M340i with xDrive we'll keep it to the US market and we'll select the latest version. Now, one thing to note is that the B58B30B is actually shown as B58D in real OEM. I do not know why that is, uh, but the M, the 540i, if we find that really quickly, the xDrive version, same date, it'll be B58C. So the B58B30C is shown as B58C. So let's quickly browse for parts, go to the same place as we were before, and we'll have a look at the oil pan, which is why I changed it. So now, if you can see, the oil pan has a shaft passage through it. So this is because this version of the car is X-Drive. But once again, even with the shaft passage, both X-Drive versions have the same oil pan parts. Now here it gets interesting. If we look at the crankcase ventilation or the PCV system, there is a difference. We have different part numbers for the B and the C. 
and we'll get into that a little later. The cylinder head is also a different part number. This is possibly because of the crankcase ventilation being slightly different between the engines. It's probably also related to the cylinder head that these cylinder head covers are mounted to. We've arrived at the main difference essentially for this engine is that the cylinder heads are different part numbers. So although here in this illustration they look similar, the other side of the cylinder heads are actually different. So the B58B30B has a traditional cylinder head like the original B58 with six exhaust ports, whereas the B58B30C has an integrated exhaust manifold which combines these six ports, these exhaust ports, into two exhaust ports. And we'll see later how that affects the turbocharger. But essentially, the main difference between the two engines is that they have a different cylinder head. Now the reason why this engine, the B58B30C, has this design of a cylinder head with an integrated exhaust manifold is that it retains those hot gases into the cylinder head longer and that helps the engine warm up faster. And an engine warming up faster is equal to lower fuel consumption, which means lower emissions. So the B58B30C has this feature not for performance reasons, but for fuel efficiency reasons. The belt drive vibration damper is the same. The belt drive itself is the same. The flywheel is the same. Surprisingly, because of the different power outputs, the crankshaft and all of these bearings are exactly the same, the bearing shells. They're exactly the same between the two engines despite the different power output. But now we get to another main difference between the two engines, which is the pistons and their rods. Now, notice that they have the same bearing shells and they have the same connecting rods and connecting rod bolts, but one major difference is the pistons themselves. The pistons are a different part number between the two engines. The pistons in the B58B30B are shared with B46 and B48 engines. Why is that important? If we look at the Z4G29, which shares the same pistons as the B58B30B, so we'll concentrate on this one, this particular model of engine, to make the, the point more clear, this engine, the, B50, the B46D, as you know, B46D under real OEM, this engine is the B46B2001. And the B46B2001 has a compression ratio of 10.2 to 1. So this is strong evidence, not, not concrete evidence, but it is a very strong evidence that this engine, the B58B3001, also known as the B58B30B, has a different compression ratio than the B58B30M1 or the B58B30C. So this one, we know for a fact that the B58B30C has a compression ratio of 11 to 1, but it seems that's not the case for the O1. It's 10.2 to 1. Some of you have said that below in the comments, and it was a very interesting comment, and I think you, are, you guys are right. It is 10.2 to 1 for the B58B30B. The size of the piston affects the volume within the cylinder when the piston is at the top of its stroke and at the bottom of its stroke. So that gives you the different ratio. So if we look at the timing chain, that's exactly the same. If we look at all of these camshafts, they're exactly the same as well the same Vanos system. If you compare the part numbers, if you pause and compare the part numbers, they're exactly the same. The standard oil pump is the same part number, right? This part number here. It's the same. But the M340i has the option S33TA, and if with that option, the S33TA, you also have a different part number of oil pump. Why is that? Well, we'll get into that in a second, but keep that in mind. You have a different oil pump as well. The part numbers between the B58B30B and the B58B30C are the same, except if you have this option S33TA, then you have a different oil filter housing. If you don't have this option, you get the conventional heat exchanger, the oil to coolant heat exchanger between the two engines. 
But if you do have this option, you get cover plates. So this is blanked off. Instead, you get this component here, which drives the oil to the air oil heat exchanger to cool the oil with air rather than with coolant. Same heat management module, same mechanical coolant pump and associated components, same cooling to the turbocharger, same auxiliary pump and associated components, same vacuum line for the braking system, same intercooler, same oil supply for the turbocharger, even though you can already see the turbochargers are two different designs. Because the exhaust manifold is integrated into the cylinder head, in the case of the B58 P30C, the turbocharger is a smaller component, as you can see here. Whereas in the B58 P30B, the exhaust manifold is external of the cylinder head and is actually part of the turbocharger itself, as shown here. So this is why all of these part numbers are different. There is a heat shield in the M340i for the turbocharger, but there is no heat shield in the 540i. Maybe it's just a, uh, a chassis difference that requires this heat shield rather than an engine difference. So we'll quickly now look at the, the cooling system. The radiators between the two cars are completely different, but that's probably chassis driven. I did notice that the fan is 850 watts when you don't have this motorsport engineering package, but when you do have the package, your fan increases, the fan power increases to 1000 watts in the B58 P30B. Whereas on the B58P30C, it's already a thousand watts. I don't know why that is, why you automatically get a stronger fan with the B58P30C and why it's an option with the B58P30B, but there you go. The coolant expansion tanks are different, uh, different shapes, but I guess that's also largely driven by the chassis and the amount of space in the engine bay. So I don't think that's significant in any way. The auxiliary pump, different part number, I'm not quite sure why that is. I don't know if this is a more powerful pump, but if you click on these pumps, you can see that they're not exclusive to the B58, B30B or B58, B30C. They're actually shared with other cars. So I'm not 100% sure about the auxiliary pump used to drive the intercooler coolant. But the main thing I wanted to show you in this section is that is this engine oil cooler if you have this package, the S33TA, the main difference for the engine is that instead of the oil being cooled with coolant via the coolant to oil heat exchanger, it's actually cooled with air. This is a very similar radiator to the M cars. And I thought this is very interesting that you can uh, option this with the M340i, which means you can option this with the B58, generally speaking. You could probably retrofit this. I'm not sure about that, but there you go. I found this to be very interesting. And obviously on the B58, B30C, it's not an option. A few more words about this package, the S33TA, besides adding this oil cooler and a stronger fan to the B58, B30B, there's also larger brakes, bigger wheels, Michelin Pilot Sport 4S tires, and that means you also get a, a tire repair kit for your tires because you no longer run, have run flats. Let's quickly look at fuel preparation system. The high pressure fuel pump is the same. The injectors are the same. The throttle housing assembly is the same. The breather valve is the same. But where we do find a difference is with the intake muffler box and the actual the air filters. And uh, this is probably to do with the chassis and the available space in the engine bay rather than with anything different between the engines. And similarly, because of the different crankcase ventilation and different uh, muffler boxes, there are slightly different air ducts between the two engines. And finally, the last thing I want to show you is that the catalytic converter is also different between the two engines. It's a different part number between the B58B30B and the B58B30C. And this one is exclusive to some of the B58B30B cars. Obviously the X3 uh, M40i and the X4 M40i are not listed here. And here most of the uh, cars that feature the B58B30C are also not listed. 
which makes me understand that the catalytic converter is actually it's different size or shape or part number depending on the chassis and the amount of space available you know between the the, the, to get the exhaust gases out of the engine, out of the car. So it's not related to the engine, is my understanding. Okay guys, that's all I wanted to show you today. I mean, I, I don't know if this was an especially boring video, going through the Illustrator Parts catalog, but in summary, the differences that we found are that the two engines have a different part number, they have a different cylinder head, a different cylinder head cover, and slightly different crankcase ventilation tubes, they have different pistons and piston rings. They have a different turbocharger. They have a different auxiliary water pump. They have a different fan by default, 850 watts versus 1000 watts. And they have different catalytic converters. That's it guys, that's all I wanted to do for today. I wanted to just show you these differences using real OEM. Sorry about all the adverts everywhere, but I guess free websites are littered with adverts. I hope you learned something and uh, see you in the next one.